Hello my friends, it's Craig. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, usually when I do an introduction, I'm very polite and tell you to please like and subscribe, but I'm just gonna say it now and be very blunt. Just subscribe to this channel. It's not gonna kill ya. <laughs> it's free and I'm a delight here. <laughs> I'm kidding, but please subscribe if you have not. Um, so let's get started. In today's video, I wanna talk about how single people uh, compare themselves to married people um, or people that are just coupled in general. It's very normal for us to compare ourselves to people, so I just want to give a few tips uh, as to what I have done to help kind of get myself out of that spiral. I want to talk about some tips that, and things that I have done personally and hopefully they're helpful to you. In our society, I live in the United States, I live in Ohio. <laughs> yes, you can pity me because I live in Ohio. <laughs> we typically celebrate all things being related to coupling up. So we celebrate when people get engaged, we go to bachelor and bachelorette parties, we go to bridal showers, we go to the wedding itself, and then if the couple decides to have children, then there's you know baby shower slash gender reveal party, a diaper party, you know, all of that. Whereas single people in in mainstream society and mainstream culture don't have the same type of celebrations um, that a couple people do. Doesn't mean that you can't. I think that people definitely should should celebrate other things. There's a great article by Bella DePaulo. She is a researcher on single people. Uh, I love her work. She is kind of like a pioneer um, in singles research. And she just posted an article not too long ago about like different celebrations like single people can have. Um, just to be creative and you can celebrate other milestones in your life if you are single. So I'm going to leave a link to that article down below. So when we start comparing ourselves to other people, I think that we start to think that our lives are subpar to some extent. So I think the first thing to do is when you start comparing yourself to someone else is kind of identify what whatever thought you're having. If it's jealousy, if it's just feelings of inadequacy, whatever it is, what is it that you're feeling? What is it you're thinking? Because once you identify the thought, then you can almost counteract that thought with actual evidence as to why that thought may or may not be true. So one of my favorite YouTubers is, uh, her name is Susan Winter and she has a video about comparing yourselves to other people and she has a great quote that I want to read because she says it better than I ever could but she says we take one aspect this person has and compare the totality of our worth against this one thing which is true right um, I think if we took a, a 360 degree look at someone's life me as a single person looking at a person in a relationship and maybe having kids or whatever um, not that I'm really envious of people who have kids <laughs> so if we think that a person's life is better than ours um, I we're not really seeing the full picture because there's a lot of things that me as a single person I can do and I have the freedom to do that married people and people have kids and whatever other responsibilities and not saying I don't have responsibilities I have my own responsibilities Abilities. But there's just certain things that you may not have time for, certain things that you just may not be able to do. Um, so it's there's pros and cons to every type of living. But sometimes when we compare ourselves to other people, we're looking at their happiness and we're sometimes basing that on uh, their happiness and our own happiness on external circumstances that are beyond our control. So if you are seeking a partner, um, you may not have just found that person yet and that's an external circumstance or maybe you've had a partner in the past and you weren't able to have kids if that was something that you wanted and that is an external circumstance that you cannot control. So it's really about me focusing on the things that you can control. I know I've talked a lot about meaning on this channel and because I think that what brings our life meaning is how our life is fulfilling and how can you bring meaning to your life um, with circumstances of things that you can control. So how can you spend your time? How can you make the things that you do in your free time more meaningful? I think sometimes we're sold this idea of being in a relationship that as soon as we find that person, it's gonna be, we're gonna be happier, it's gonna be more blissful, and everything's just gonna go smoother, and we almost wait in our lives to, to do certain things, but why can't you enjoy your life now? No one's life is perfect, so, it's easy to see something on the outside as being exactly what you want, but you might not want that. You know, there might be someone who has like, who has the white picket fence and has the quote unquote American dream, but maybe they don't have a lot of friends. Maybe 
they feel very lonely. I mean, just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean that excludes you from ever feeling lonely. I think some of the loneliest times in my life have been when I've been around other people. So you don't really know what someone's life really looks like. And there might be people out there who actually are very envious of your life and a lot of the things that you've accomplished. So comparing ourselves to other people doesn't really do us any justice. I know it's hard. It's so much easier said than done to be like, don't compare yourselves to other people. Um, we all do it, so it's very normal. But I just think when you find yourself doing that, kind of recognizing it and taking a step back and realizing that no one's life is perfect is a good place to start. I hope this was helpful. Um, there's a lot of um, great resources out there. I've been doing a lot of reading lately to try to figure out how I can bring more resources to this channel, to make myself more informed, um, to, to give you the best information possible. But I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. So please leave a comment below if there's anything in the future that you'd like me to talk about. And I will see you back here next time. Bye.